boy oh boy we got a fun and interesting video for you guys today well i don't know for sure we have a video yet but from the looks of this job it's gonna be interesting stay tuned i'll show you what we got So here's what we're going to attempt to tackle. We are actually in, uh, we're in town, man. We don't work in town a whole lot. Uh, they're perfect, brought the show to the city today. I'm excited, can you tell? Anyway, this here is the entrance into this garage. A uh, gentleman just bought this house, is gonna flip it. And it's eight inch concrete block walls and they are failing miserably. They're about ready to fall in on themselves. So we're going to tear out these walls and use these cubes and replace the walls i'll explain more about that later but we got some serious uh serious obstacles is that a good way to put it there's a few obstacles here and unfortunately none of them are utilities we had all the utilities marked they're all out of the way but we're gonna do our best to save this concrete driveway and uh yeah this would be this would be the ideal job for that hyundai machine if i had it lows what do they call it close radius machine rubber track pads this job was made for it but we don't have that we have that so we'll make do but i think what we're going to do so we don't bite off more than what we can chew we're going to take out one wall at a time we're probably going to start with this wall work our way up in there i'm hoping i can get some dirt at some point throw up on here to kind of pad that concrete a little bit and uh haul it out of here the concrete and dirt can go to one job or one dump site the wood has to go to another one so that's what matt's doing so. hey we're gonna save the fish pond right no <laughs> no there's a fish pond right up on top of that hill somewhere look at that cute little guy it's adorable all right you ready to tear something up i'm ready let's do it the reason 4,562 why I don't like big doors on Volvos. What number was that? 4,562? That's probably being nice. It's probably like six or 7,000. The John Deere door would have opened right there. Now there's a mailbox. I, uh, I, I just don't get it. I just don't get the big door. Well, just get in and close it and soak up all that AC like you do anyway. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> all right, let me get in here and get this old girl fired up. We got fluids checked. I'm going to, uh, I brought the three foot bucket. Now it's not gonna start. What's wrong? Disconnect, I think's off. Oh, okay. Hold that thought. Good news, nobody stole it last night. You ready? There you go. Hey, it's beeping at me. You want me to take that clevis off of your arm? Yeah, in a minute. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm gonna change. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta clear the mailbox first. Yeah, don't forget about the mailbox. You wanna take a bet somewhere that mailbox survives the day? Uh, no. There we go. No, we don't wanna take. So I got the 42 inch bucket up there. I also bought the 36 inch bucket off the 120. I think I'm gonna use it. I think it's gonna give me a little bit more control and uh yeah we'll see all right let's see what happens here we're gonna have to just kind of slowly sort our way through this piece by piece see what we got i'd like to get this concrete over here keep it somewhat separated from that dirt if i can use that dirt as padding here a little bit i think my plan will work it's just gonna have to take a little bit of time and be methodical about it Concrete's gonna break up pretty nice, so that'll be good. The other thing is, we really don't know. Uh, I'm pretty clear of obstruction. Now, I want to move it. You just knock your horn or let me know on the radio one time. I get myself spun facing up in there without destroying anything. Watch out, get right in there. Spin 
was taking that whole wall out on accident here, man. Here goes the wall. A little bit of the wall. Stop. There's a skunk. <laughs> and I'm in this hole. Yeah. All right. As you guys can see, I cleared the wall because of the skunk, and he's one in that garage bed. <laughs> and yes, he sprayed. Let's get out of there for a minute. What a wonderful day, way to start the morning. <laughs> hey, did you notice I just cleared an eight foot tall wall? <laughs> All right, you guys should be very, very, very thankful right now that you don't have smell vision on YouTube because that is one. Can get back in there, right, camera? I'm good right now. That is one stinky. Stinky, stinky little kid. Let me tell you. We tried to peacefully dispose of him, but he's hiding underneath the dump truck somewhere. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the dump truck loaded and see what we got. I can promise you one thing he is not happy with us. everybody now that the skunk escapade is over with you can see what Mike was talking about in regards to that Hyundai machine you see how close he is right here that Hyundai machine my guess would be two foot shorter basically it's right over top of the tracks to my recollection Mike's a greater expert on that but he wouldn't have to worry about this wall at all he could crawl right up in there right next to it and be able to swing and have no concerns but as you can see right up here when he swings he's four inches three to four inches away so it's a little bit tighter fit with the volvo right dp teeth in them holes and pulling away he's trying to keep from cracking the block where this retaining wall adjoins the house right there so his hope is that he can pull i'm watching that house sir i was just explaining that saw how he wiggled and pulled <clears throat> it broke the block right against the house instead of the block that is actually part of the house all right we 
we about got our first truckload here. Matt's going to take a demo saw and go right down next to the house. Uh, it's tied together up there somehow. Gee, where's this horrible in here? Still smells good up there, he says, but it's tied the house somewhere. I don't want to take the excavator and just get all crazy with it and bust it off, so he's going to make a cut up there and kind of see what we got. While he's doing that, we're going to go dump his truck. <laughs> That looked like they had it tied together real well, did they? No, they a couple of random pieces of rebar in there, maybe. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna go dump. I'll be back. Okie dokie. Hey, it kind of kind of smells back here. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Should have been back here before the wind started blowing. It was rough, man. <laughs> all right, we are off the dump. We got a dump site here close, but uh, kind of glad to be away from that smelly job site. Woo, that thing stinks. But uh, some of you are probably asking, and maybe you've already commented, uh, why do you got the Volvo in on that little video job? It's honestly a legit question. And that would that job is probably more suited for the 304 and the skid steer, to be honest with you. But I got the Volvo there for one main reason and a slight second reason. One, we're setting those six foot cubes back in there. Those six foot cubes weigh 4,000 pounds. The skid steer will lift them, but I can't really twist and turn to set them on the wall nice and neat and manipulate them. It, it works, but it don't work. Um, the 304 will not budge them. I can scoot them along the ground, but it won't budge them. So that's that's one reason. Two, working back in that hole like that, loading a truck, uh, it is nice to have a little bit of extra reach. So I, I could have got by the 304, and if it wasn't for those heavy cues, we'd probably just you know, use the 304. But Hopefully that answers your comments or your questions if anybody had them on the uh, what equipment we chose to use. If you didn't have any questions about that, well, thanks for listening. <laughs> Let's go dump and go back and reload. Dumping. There she goes. Pretty deep hole down there, honestly. Check to see if she all come out. Got it. All for another load. I don't know if you guys can see here what we're doing. I threw some dirt up there, some good clean dirt, and uh, I kind of got it up there to protect that concrete from the from these steel tracks. This machine here. Weighs about 30 pounds, 30,000 pounds, and has the uh, triple browser shoes on it. It won't really chew it up, it'll just scratch it up a little bit. It's not the end of the world. Uh, a year worth of weathering on it, it'll be back to normal, but we'll do what we can to ensure that we protect it. There's a chance, there is a chance that whole pad may have to come out of there. That's all gonna be dependent on the depth of this footer and whether that footer is underneath this pad so that's what we're going to do now is kind of wiggle our way up in there and uh see what we got and uh go from there so all right let's do it <laughs> go old dirt nerd on you guys because that's what i do a lot of times but i just seen this and thought it was kind of cool you can see exactly where the old overdig used to be see that crack right there that's where they overdug this wall to put the other one in right there then this is all original ground right there thought that was kind of cool and uh yeah it's tight boys and girls it is tight getting in here but we're getting her we are getting her see right there that old overdig is this shouldn't take much pressure at all i just barely put any pressure down on that it'll come right off there see it just like that this will dig a little bit harder than all the original. There we go. That's part of the old, uh, old frog pond or fish pond or whatever they had up there. My question is, I need to see if I can get turned around and reach the truck from here. Come on. 
That's not good. Oh well, we'll put a cutting edge on it. That'll work. Don't worry, it's not on the glass, it's on the rub bar. I know it don't have a cutting edge on it, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, even if you don't want to. See, look. Perfectly fine, good as new. There we go, now we can reach the truck. And we got our bank carved out so we can swing. Oh yeah, we're in good shape now, boys and girls. Good shape now. All right, we are loaded and it's starting to take shape here. Basically what we're gonna do is this is the old footer that that old wall was sitting on. I believe we're just gonna reuse that old footer because the footer seems to be in pretty good shape. It also works out height and elevation wise to what we're doing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, we're just going to keep on going. So far, I've been able to get most of that out of there without any issues. I do have a chunk of something right here that uh, don't want to let go. We'll deal with that here in a minute. Let's go get this truck dumped, come back, and load her up again. Off we go, round two. I get my seatbelt. <clears throat> I'll put you guys down for that though. And we're dumping. And we're back. Round three. I gotta reposition myself here slightly trick when you're trying to dig, dig a straight wall on an offset like this, you take your bucket tooth, kind of make a couple notches down like so, every so often. Boom. You can take the back of your bucket and push, you can shave it off. See how that works? Kind of helps you dig a nice straight wall offset from your boom, if that makes sense. Got a little trick. You guys may have a better trick than I do. That's fine. I'd be willing to learn it, but that's what I found works. Um, works pretty well for over the years. Just about parked the truck too far away, but hopefully we'll be working too. So it'll be just right. I gotta get myself notched down here and find out what's going on on that bottom layer with that one piece of concrete chunk. I'm hoping it's just a block. It's got some more in the concrete. Let me uh, we'll keep digging away here and investigating and we'll see what we find. Alright, so what I do is we got that course of block down there. And it's mortared to that pad. What I'm doing is bringing my teeth through there. And I'm not raising up, I'm putting pressure on it this way. And I'm busting those blocks and from what I can tell, I'm able to save that pad and not do any undue damage to it. So let me get uh, throw this bucket here in the truck. Whoops, my drop dirt on the road. Try not to make a mess on the street. It takes a couple passes. You kind of got to be gentle with it. But if you just kind of let the track on right there. There you go. See how it popped up there? Kind of get it busted up. I get in too close to me, and teeth want to start raising it up. I keep pressure this way, just keep collapsing those, collapsing those blocks, and it seems to work pretty well. Right there, the footer there. That is beautiful. Go ahead and take some of this, and shove it off in the ditch so we can clean it up. But I don't think we damaged that pad at all, which is nice. I like it. Alright, dump this one in the truck and back up a little bit. Keep on going.
What do you think about my fancy excavating job while you're gone? I think you did. You know what? If you hadn't started with what do you think about my fancy excavating <laughs> job, I might have given it. I'm always that close to giving you a compliment. I mean, there's now a, I'm not. There's always the I ain't option. Done it. There's always the option of you and the shovel. <laughs> you did fine. Thank you. Dirt perfect. So we got this all dug out. We had to step down right here, and I was, I was able to get that footer. It goes up underneath that slab a couple inches. I think we're going to be fine. We got that chiseled out. Matt's making a few. I got a few little pieces of concrete there. I didn't want to. I didn't feel comfortable getting with a tooth. It's that close to the house. But uh, I'm going to take this little dirt off. We're going to bring a load of 11s back. So we can kind of smooth up and bed this in down there. And uh, a little bit of luck. We'll be ready to start stacking block on this side. Sounds great. All right, you guys know the routine. Off the dump again. And we're off. Dump it again. Okay, so we just got back. We may have stopped and took lunch. It was delicious if you guys are wondering. Thanks for asking. But let me get you caught up to speed on what's going on. So we did a few things here. We actually, uh, there's a couple holes in this wall here where our rebar went in and pinned it. We got those filled in. Just so many critters or, well, anything that don't need to be in there, don't get in there. We found the foundation drain coming off the old house. We have tied on it and got it going down over the hill there. And then uh, you see me get a load of rock. We're actually just using the truck as a rock box right now. Uh, there's a concrete footer here. We just put a little bit of rock on top of it because it's uneven. And uh, as, as just a little bit of a cushion. So that's why we're not doing any type of uh, compacting or anything. There's not really anything there to compact and that'd be a waste of time. And nobody likes wasting time. So it is, I'm all over the place. I'm sorry guys. It's just been a crazy day as usual, but this is a tight look at this this is a tight little job site you guys will be proud of me i did take the bucket and notch out the bank so my tail swing can swing i did not clear it out with the counterweight even though you guys think that i use the counterweight to bulldoze with what i've tried to explain to you guys and you don't understand is that counterweight misses this blade about three quarters of an inch and dirt builds up right in here so it just rubs on it constantly coming through there i ain't gonna trade it for the world I don't care about counterweights. It's crap. So, end of that story. But, what are you talking about? I got myself all sidetracked now. Oh, Matt is, uh, I don't want to track this machine on top of this concrete pad any more than I have to. And I can't reach those over there. Maybe we shouldn't have staged them over there. Maybe we should have. I don't know. But Matt's taking the skid steer. I come on the skid steer. There's a lot of things I don't like about it. But it is a hoss. It takes those 4,000 pound cubes and moves them around like they're nothing. It does better moving the cubes than this thing over here does. It just got more reach. So anyways, he's moving those over here where we can grab them. Once we get those where we can grab them, we're gonna set a few down through there. I'm probably gonna try to set, stack the back as high as we can go. We'll work our way to the front and then we're gonna have to deal, we're gonna have to step in there somewhere. So we'll have to make that uh, make that transition at some point. So let's, uh, Let's help Matt get in there, block moved here, and then we'll start start stacking. Oh, one other thing we did is we had to we had to notch this first block because this first block has to clear the footer on the house. Is right there, and I didn't want to notch the footer. It makes more sense to notch the block, so that's what we did. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, first block. Here we go. Let's see how this one fits. See our nice little fancy notch. And let's see if we get a wiggle. Yeah, I hate to draw the block on our brand new concrete, so. That's what I'm saying. Oh, there's a real wise man, but I think the notch goes the other way. Pretty sure the notch goes against the wall, boss. Just 
you got some nice concrete for a straight edge. Yeah, all that lovely kitty hair in that batch of concrete. I love that. Better than a skunk. <laughs> Number two coming down. Try to get a little bit of rock behind that wall while we're here. I got the bucket on the machine backwards, which I think will help me get that rock in there a little bit more controlled. I'm sure we'll end up shoveling some of it for some of it. But I want to kind of backfill it as we go. It'll help keep that wall straight. It'll protect that pipe from getting any dirt on it. And I don't know if I can get back in here later to do it. So let's do it now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Beautiful job, bucket on backwards, not much waste, shovel that right off. There's the first couple blocks guys, they, uh, they're looking pretty sharp. Looks like we can get one more six footer in there and then we're going to have to drop down and carry on, carry on that direction. I've got two things subscribers have gave me over the past year that I really wish I had on this job because it makes a lot of sense to have them here. One is some road cones. We're on a dead end street, so it's not a huge deal, but it would be nice to have some cones out there on the road where we're working. And two, Blake from Texas gave me this awesome steel leaf blower. It works so much better than this broom for knocking these elevens off the top. I'll have it here tomorrow. I'll have it here tomorrow, I promise you. But shaking these elevens on top is not the end of the world because it kind of gets down those little cracks and it really helps to lock these blocks together, believe it or not. So I'm going to sweep these off. Matt's moving some. Uh, cubes out there getting ready for us we're going to start off with the four footer this is the six foot blocks and the next one will be a four footer it'll go about to right there we're going to stack this as high as we can and then we'll kind of work our way on out of here all right everybody first four footer going down I'm sure Mike's explained it, but we put a four footer against the wall so we have a two foot offset from that six footer and you've got a two foot alternating seam. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. Let's get this block set. I would say it's a half but also. As you guys can see, Mike's bucket's gonna hit the house. So what we're gonna do is set this one here and he's gonna push it okay. down. Sorry. He's hollering, unhook me. So, let's see how this goes. I think it'll work just fine. Gonna be getting that pretty clean top dirty. Look at that, just like butter. Blend 
landed nicely. Once again, good job, DP. Now uh, don't even shrug your shoulders. Look at that chuckle. Did you see that chuckle? All right, guys, second course, number two. Get it spun around here. Special delivery, block three, course two. Coming in. Beautiful. I said beautiful. And no, I wasn't talking about you. It's block perfect. This is the first course. No, 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 no. Back up, back up. First block. First block of course number three. We uh we took the bucket back off. We were trying to save ourselves some time, so hooking and unhooking, and uh, it was just too cumbersome. And honestly, it added too much weight. This Volvo don't like to walk and the bucket whenever you have to reach all the way out there as far as you can. So. So it is, it is not that difficult. That's one thing nice about a quick attach. You just take it on and take it off. Maybe it's tapped down on my end a little bit, maybe. Scoot it towards me, it'll settle in there. Scoot it towards them, it'll settle. So big. All right, this course is only two block long for now. And we're gonna have to uh, figure out what we're gonna do with our step footer here. Oh, another ball game. I'll set this one if you wanna grab a four footer and get it in reach for me. Come on, boy. I told Matt I'd set this one. Now it's spun around the wrong way. Let's see how good I can do this. Oh, she's coming back, folks. She's coming back. Oh, too far. Too far. I'm going to bump it against the wall, but I want to get it. I'm going to bump it against the block and make shift the corner. Don't want to do that. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Nailed it. You guys ever get excited about the littlest little victories? The littlest little victories? That is awesome. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and set the uh, four footer and a six footer on the end up there, and then we can start working our way out of there. So Matt's, Matt's getting me a four footer over here where I can reach it. Matt, I may be able to reach that. Let me try it real quick.
foot short. I see a red light, but I'm not going to comment. <laughs> Just move it over here. Almost had it. Almost had it. I don't know what the world Matt did with my tape measure I had, but it looks like we're going to get lucky. I'd like to tell you guys we're good, but uh, we're going to get lucky. <laughs> but it looks like <clears throat> this block, this next one, is going to slide in right underneath that siding, which is going to be going to be pretty sweet. So uh, let's go into time warp mode and set these next two. You want to? That fit absolutely perfect. Look at that fit going down that wall. It's like we're professionals or something. So now we got to go. We're going back on the bottom course. Matt's got our pipe thrown up out of there. We're going to measure that out and get an elevation. And we're actually going to have to step down this driveway slopes away from the house, rightfully so. so we'll step that down and uh, get us what we need here. I don't think we'll be able to do the five foot, Matt, because uh, that footer starts right there where your toe's at, see it? Yeah. We might just go ahead and have to set a full block here. It's going to get us out to the end of it. We'd have two joints overlapping. I mean, it's almost right. Well, but there. that block's never going to be seen, to be honest right. with you, except a little bit of it. So if those, if those line up, it don't really matter. Sorry about that, my battery died. We're getting this step, step, I can't even talk, step set up here. Let me get uh, a little bit of rock in here and get this, uh, get this kind of sorted out and I'll show you what, uh, what's going on here. I think this is going to work out pretty good. What's that? Yeah, I know, I'm not good. It's probably about right. That small rock I'll go through my teeth. Oh, look at that. Money, baby. That's three quarters of an inch there, Mr. Dirk Perfect. Money. <laughs> I get it within an inch. You and that rake get it the rest of the way. I've done my job. Good operator, get me within a quarter. You should be nice to me, and I will. <laughs> All right, grab some rock out of my rock box over here. Truck sitting at one angle, I'm sitting at another angle. Oh well, we'll make it work. Keep it out in the neighbor's yard. They probably don't want any rock. That wouldn't be nice. You want a light sprinkle in there? Or? I'm good on this upper side. If you want to sprinkle from about right there on, it'd be good. But you say I should put my rock back where I found it? At this point, yeah.
All right, so here's what we got. Let me see if I can explain this the best I can. If we were to continue on that level, that block is running the level. And if we would continue on, that block would come out of the ground. The bottom of that block would be the top of this one. As the driveway falls off, you can see we need some exposed right there. So basically what you did what they call step down a step, which the top of this block is the same elevation as the bottom of that block. So if we set that next block in here, it'll come across, span on top of that one, go on out. You'll see that wedge of that one. Then we'll come on across with the next course through there. So let's set some block. So this is the telltale block here. Let's see how this one spans going from the grade footer on top of other blocks. Should overlap about six inches. Oh, looks like it's gonna fit pretty good. I'd hug me. Got an air gap all the way down. I'd hug me. Like it? That looks really good. I say sweep that back one off and set the next one on top of them and see what it looks like. I love it when a plan comes together. Right, guys kind of a double-edged sword here at the end of the day to be honest with you bam look at that we got the wall stacked it looks nice it looks pretty looks like it's supposed to except these blocks you gotta keep in mind these blocks are made out of waste concrete they're just concrete that comes back to the blast plant left over and this course about halfway down the other course they're leaning in probably a good half to three quarters the top Honestly, it's probably within tolerance, but I don't like it. I think we're going to bring some shims back tomorrow and fix it. If you want to see how we fix that, stay tuned for tomorrow. And then we also stopped. I did not want to complete this wall out. As you can see, my tail swing right there is over top of that block. I'm uh, thinking I'm going to need that space to be able to get back up in here, to get the rest of that wall out, excavate that out. It's going to be interesting, folks. It's going to be interesting. We survived most of this well i guess we'll figure it out tomorrow one way or another but uh matt's cleaning up the street getting it all nice and pretty we got to remember to bring cones and leaf blower tomorrow uh them two things will be handy but hope you guys will join us tomorrow hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and comment and as always guys catch you on the next one